worship him with your hands. Come on, somebody, as you put those hands together. He's transforming your life. He's transforming your life. Come on.
We give you all the praise, all the glory, and all that belong unto you. Mariga Baba Baba, Ika Bala Hade, Gede Hesa, Kareka Ha. Le we reverence you, O God. We worship you, Jesus. You are worthy in this place, O God. There is none like you, O God. You reign in majesty. You reign, O God. You reign in this place, Jesus. Continue to reign, O oh God. Continue to reign in this place, O oh God. Reign in our lives, Rain in our midst, O God. Rain in our lives, O God. Rain, Jesus, rain. Rain in this place, O God. Rain, Makarabo Shalamanda Rabosa, Leprono Lebrakida Shanta, Matala Brakanda La Broduya, Makasanto Lebrakada, Makusanta La Bragadosha, Lekuta La Brakanda La Bayanda. May you reign in this service, O God. Reign in our lives, O God. Reign in our families, O God. Reign in our marriages, O God. Reign in our businesses, O God. Reign in our finances, my God. Reign in everything, O God. Reign in our hearts, reign in our spirit, reign in our souls. Take over, my God. Take over in this place. Take charge, oh God. Take total preeminence in this place. Maka to have a under the sky. Maka to have a shikata. Ripoko to ripahanda. Maka sakato. Lepo mulo prakarash. Lepo mulo sakarash. Lepo dala prakarash. Lepo mulo prakarash. Santa la bayande. We worship you, O God. Makasuta la bragarosh, le pronda la brahanda la brahul, zentu la brakana, zantu shala brahan, le pronda la brakanda le brahura, le sunta la brahanda. Thank you, our story changer. Thank you, our unchangeable changer. Thank you, Lord. Makusakata. Leprondo Lobrakara. Thank you, Makatula Brahanda. Our uncreated creator. Makusakata. The God who makes a way where there seem to be no way. The God of impossibility. The God of hardships. The God of all solutions. Our source of strength. Our source of joy. Our source of happiness. Our source of all our needs. We reverence you in this place, oh God. Be exalted, Jesus. Be lifted up. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor that you deserve, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. If this is your power, if this is your glory, if this is your praise, let it rain. If this is your power, if you know you need him, just lift up your hands and just tell him. This is your glory. This is your present. Father, let it rain. If this is your power, if this is your glory.
your power reign in my life. Let your power reign in my life. Thank you, Jesus. 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 for Jesus. Just celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Celebrate him if you can. Just clap your hands. Clap your hands for Jesus. Just celebrate the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Celebrate him tonight. Just celebrate him today. Just celebrate him like never before. Can you celebrate Jesus somebody? Celebrate the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. His word to be exalted. His word to be praised. Hallelujah. Wow. I can sense that God is about to come and do great things in this house. Oh. I said I can sense a mighty move of God in this house. And if your neighbor is not sensitive enough with the presence of God, you may just change seats because they may discourage you from receiving from the Lord. Now shake somebody next to you and tell them you're welcome in the house of the Lord and tell them that you look beautiful, you look handsome, just tell them that. And tell them that Jesus looks so good on you. Tell them Jesus looks good on you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. No, your amen is discouraging me. I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Can I hear a victorious amen in the house? Can I prophesy in this house this morning? Can I prophesy? Can I just do some more, more in this house? Prophesy. Can we do kangane kangane? You don't look like you're ready to receive kangane kangane. Somebody, listen, somebody, listen. This is the day that the Lord has made. So whether the devil claps hands or not, we shall rejoice and we shall be glad on this day. Oh, somebody, 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 your joy in the house of the Lord, your joy in the house of the Lord. Your celebration in the house of the Lord. Your celebration in the house of the Lord. Jesus. Tell your neighbor, ask your neighbor, say, neighbor. Neighbor. Do I look like I care? Do I look like I care? Uh uh. Pow. That one was a wrong neighbor. Look into your neighbor's eyes. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. Do I look like I care? Do I look like I care? You don't Pow. care about nothing. Major Listen, you know why you don't care about anything? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Can I tell you why? Oh, yes. You don't care simply because you know that the God that you save is right there where you are. Oh. So whether I don't have where to put my head on, oh. whether I don't have where to put on my mouth, oh. one thing I know my present help in the times of trouble. He is my present help in the times of problems. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. Sit on the heads of the enemy just for a moment. Oh yeah, sit on them. And let's see if they still exist. Hallelujah. This church is boring. I don't know where my church is. Oh. You know, my Holy Ghost Embassy, when they arrive, you hear that they are here. These ones, they all look like international visitors. Oh. They don't know what happens in the house of the Lord. Oh. Listen. 
What God is about to do today. I can sense it. I can feel it. I can see it. The impossible shall become possible. Those situations where you know it can't possible, it can't possibility. There's no way you can come out of that mess. There is no way out. It's like you are closed up in a certain corner, in a certain day. And guess what the Lord says? I'm going to appear as a fourth man in the lion's den. I'm going to appear as a fourth man in the fire finance. The same way I appeared to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abdenego, I'm going to be the fourth man who's going to appear in their situation. I'm going to be the fourth man who's going to appear to show forth my power, to quench that fire, to quench that pain. I'm going to take out every pain. I'm going to take out every affliction because I, the Lord, I have heard the cry of my people. I have heard the cry of my children. I have heard them crying day and night unto me. And I the Lord, um, I do not sleep no slumber. Oh, yes. I watch all of them day and oh, night. Um, yes. And I'm not going to watch my children oh, to continue yes. crying um, because my name has to be glorified. Oh, and yes. guess what? You know what's going to happen? Amen. Major. You know what's going to happen? You know what's going to happen? Oh, yes. All you need to do is forget yourself. Amen. Shake your neighbor. Say neighbor. Neighbor. Forget who you are. Forget who you are. Say neighbor. Neighbor. Forget your identity. Forget your identity. Forget your position. Forget your, forget position. your trouble. Forget, forget, your, forget your problem. Forget your problem. Just focus on the King of Kings. Just focus, Just on, the focus on the one who has the answer. Oh. Focus on the one who has oh. the ability. Focus on the one. Oh. You by your name, oh, yes. focus on the one who oh. knows your address, oh. focus on the one who oh. knows you inside oh. out, focus on the one who has the capacity, oh. who has the ability oh. to do the impossible. Oh. Somebody say, Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Measure mom, shake your neighbor, say, Neighbor, neighbor, pardon him. Say neighbor. Neighbor. Get lost in a moment. Get lost in a moment. You're not getting lost in your problem. You're not going to get lost in your problem. You are getting lost in the presence of God. You are getting lost in the praise of the Lord. Because it is in the presence of God. Because in the praise of God. Where we find our fullness of joy. We find the it is in the presence of God. In the praise where of we God. find our restoration. Find our it restoration. is in the presence of God. Where of we God. find our healing. Our it healing. is in the presence of God. In the praise where of we gain our breakthrough. Our it breakthrough. is in the presence of God. The where of we God. gain our heart desires. Our heart Somebody desire. said get lost in the presence of God. Get lost in the praise of God. Am I talking to a living church? Oh, yes. Say, get lost in the presence of God. Get lost in the praise of God. You're not talking to me. Talk to your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. Power. Major mom. There is a God. There is a God that I know. Amen. The God who heals HIV. Oh, yes. Ah, in Holy Ghost Embassy ah, with the grace of the prophet that I know ah, the only prophet that is my personal ah, prophet listen to me with the anointing and the grace upon prophet did I say Amen. HIV simply means healing is available ah, and guess ah, what your HIV shall disappear in this area your cancer is disappearing in this area Poverty is disappearing in this age. I receive it. Somebody, 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 somebody. Somebody say, I am ready. Somebody say, I am ready. I am ready. Are you ready? I am ready. Are you ready? I am ready. Say, are you ready? I am ready. Power. Major mom. The same way it's easy for you to breathe, it's the same way it will be easy for your problem to disappear. Amen. I can sense this strange anointing that is going to.
to take place in this service. Oh. And as a matter of fact, our prophet is loaded. Oh. So your response will determine, your celebration will determine oh. whether you must release what he has or not. Oh yes! Neighbor, neighbor, do not quench the prophetic anointing. Do not quench the prophetic anointing. Power. And guess what? When God is dealing with you, He deals with you as an individual. Oh yes. It's not about the husband that I came with to change. Ah. It's not about the children that I came with to change. Ah. It's about me and my God. Oh yes. And when I get in the presence of God, ah. I get lost in His presence oh, yes. because I know when I stand before the Lord of Lords, ah. when I stand before the King of Kings, ah. I don't stand as a wife. Ah. I don't stand as a nobody. Oh, yes. I stand as a child of God. Ah. And God is gonna do with you and I oh. as children of. your neighbor is boring, just change seats. Oh, account. yes. If your neighbor is boring, they can't clap hands, they can't stand up, they can't shout. They are still in whatsoever. They are still in another kind of ministry. Remind them that you're in the prophet Diddy's church. This is a prophetic church. You answer with your mouth. You clap with your hands. You scream with your voice. Somebody, 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 somebody. Listen, you know why we love screaming? You know why we love celebrating? You know why? You don't know? You don't know? You don't know? Listen, the Lord commanded Prophet Joshua. He says, go around the city of Jericho and tell your people, my people, you shall round the city for seven days. And every time you surround the city, you shall go there filled with praises on top of your voices. You shall praise the Lord on top of your voices. You shall scream unto the Lord. And that's what the instruction was. And the Lord told Joshua, he said, on the seventh day, you shall round the city of Jericho seven times. And at the end of your rounding the city, oh. the walls are going to break down. Oh. The walls are going to crumble down. Oh. And guess what? It was because of their celebration. It was because of their being obedient to the instruction of God. Oh. And as a matter of fact, a voice cannot cause the building to fall down. Oh. A voice cannot cause buildings to crumble. Oh. But it only takes the prophetic voice. It only takes an anointed voice oh. who is listening to the prophetic instruction. Oh. And guess what? You know what happened? On the seventh time, they surrounded with their praises in worship as they were praising the Lord. Yeah. And guess what? The walls of Jericho, the walls that seem to be a hindrance oh. to their deliverance, oh. the walls that seem to be a hindrance to their breakthrough, oh. they were crumbled down, oh. they were broken down, oh. everything was smashed down. Oh. And guess what today, as the prophet will be giving us instructions oh. to the saints, every trouble shall crumble, oh. every problem shall crumble, oh. your problem shall disappear, oh. somebody, your problem shall disappear. Oh. Jesus, that's my boss. Hey. Hey. Jesus, hey, major mom, your screaming will determine how much you want your trouble to disappear. Oh yes. Hey, power. I receive it. Ripo kataya mandara boko Jesus! 
Isaac. That's my boss. Major mom. Isaac. You don't come to church as an expectator. Oh yes. You come to church as an expectant person. Ah. Your expectation shall be out your manifestation. Ah. So if you don't expect nothing, you receive nothing. Ah. Yeah. And guess what? Prophet here. He's the best gift that God has given us. Oh yes. Oh, I don't know. Ha ah. ah. as a human being, you miss everything from the Lord. Mm. When I look at him in the house of the Lord, oh. he's not a husband, he's not a darling, he's not a sweetheart. Oh. He is the voice of God. Oh, he yes. is a man of God. Oh, yes. He is the voice of God. Oh, yes. And whatsoever he declares, oh, yes. I receive it with thanksgiving. Oh, yes. Listen to me. The fact that you know him does not mean you know his God. Oh yes. The fact that you can talk to him, it does not mean your God, his God also speaks to you exactly the way he speaks to you. The fact that you can know where he goes wrong and right does not give you a right to judge him into condemnation. Oh, yes. Because you don't know how he rehearses with his God. Oh. You don't know how much he reconciles with his God. Oh. You don't know nothing about him. Oh, yes. Hey, shut your neighbor. Say neighbor. Neighbor. Say la tu bombeko. Can you say that? Say say la tu bombeko. Say la tu bombeko. Pow! Don't ask your mother. Ah! Major mom. Say neighbor. Neighbor. It's my moment of my breakthrough. It's my moment of my breakthrough. Say neighbor. Neighbor. When you hear me scream. When you hear me scream. It's only me who knows the pain. It's only me who knows the pain. It's only me who understands my pain. It is only me who understands my pain. You don't know what I'm going through. You don't know what keeps me having sleepless ah. nights. So when I scream like a mad person. Ah. You don't know what I go through. Ah. You don't know how God is going to deal with ah. me.
this house. Oh, yes. Listen, it's been a while since you celebrated your father. Oh, yes. Are we ready to celebrate him? Oh, yes. I said, are we ready to celebrate him? Oh, yes. If you know you are a son and a daughter of Prophet Didi, oh. if you know you are not his father, you are not his mother, Are we ready to celebrate the prophet? Oh, yes! Are we ready to celebrate the prophet? Can I hear this a demonstration on how you're going to celebrate him? One, two, three, go. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Ah. You know what? That one was for me. That one was for me, right? Oh, yes. You did that one for me. I received it with thanksgiving. Now, can we celebrate the father of this house? Okay, wait, hold it, hold it, hold it a moment. I want these guys to be ready. Jesus, I'm so in love with you. Oh! Are we ready to celebrate? Oh! Just celebrate if you can, somebody.
presence of God, you're welcome, 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 you're welcome. Hallelujah. Sit down. Hallelujah. Put out two hands for yourself. That one is for your uncle. I said, put your two hands for yourself. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate your miracle. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
You can take your seats in the heavenly places. You look so amazing. Amen. You look so super mafitious. Amen. You look so superative divine fagamantorian. Oh. You look so phantom glorious. Yeah. If the devil is annoyed, oh. let him jump and commit suicide. Oh. There is a level of favor that God will give you. I receive it. Even when you put on a cloth of two rand, it will look like it's two billion. I receive it. Power. Say, I receive that unction. I receive that unction. Say, I receive that unction. I receive that unction. Praise God. Amen. Just lift your hand, whatever you are. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Precious name. Amen. Lift your hand and shout Amen. Amen. Clap your hands for yourself. Hallelujah. I love to welcome everybody who is watching us on Facebook, on YouTube. I want you to know that God is ready for you. Do not be moved by what people talk about you. Be moved by what God says about you. God has a word for you this morning. And if you can connect yourself to what God is saying about you, then you will see where he's taking you. Lift your hand. Say, God has a plan for me. God has a plan for me. Say, God has a purpose for me. God has a purpose for me. Put your two hands for Jesus. <sighs> can somebody rush for a miracle? Can somebody rush for a miracle there? Can somebody rush for a miracle? Can somebody rush for three miracles here? They are here. Three miracles. One, two, three. Only men. Only men. Only men. Rush. Even heaven has promoted you. They are not receiving. Listen to me. Those who are sick, I'm ready for you. Those who need financial breakthroughs, I'm ready for you. Those who need houses, I am ready for you. Are you ready? I'd say it. Last, last Thursday, I said, I want to see people with iPads. Who bought an iPad? Can I see? Can I see? Can I see? Where's your iPad? Where's your iPad? Okay, where's your iPad? Where's your iPad? Where's your iPad? Where's your iPad? Oh, where's your iPad? Nobody without an iPad. Where's your iPad? My Jesus, oh God, have mercy on them. Oh, where's your iPad? Where's your Bible? Your Bible? Oh, God, have mercy. Have mercy. Where's your iPad? My God, my God, my God. Come down and show your mighty power on these people. Who is right here? Can somebody run for a blessing? Okay, 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 okay. Run for the blessing. 
Run for the blessing. Run for the blessing. It is prophetic what I'm doing. Even heaven has promoted you. Where's your iPad? I want to see your iPad. Wow. Wow. From today, you are my friend. <laughs> Look at this. It's just wonderful. It's just wonderful. Praise God. You know, shh, I'd lost my iPad uh, last, uh, on Monday. On Monday, I was coming from Zambia and uh, I spoke to my daughter. I said, this is the way I lost my iPad. Not knowing that I was prophesying to myself that I will lose the iPad. Are you listening? After a few minutes, after a few minutes, the iPad disappeared. It disappeared. I know I did not get worried. I did not kill myself. I was normal. Now in that iPad, I've got almost 12 books that I've written. It's like my office. I've been with that iPad for the past five years. So all my notes, all my notes are there. All my books are there. I did not get worried. Because I understand one thing is that I've got a brain. At least the iPad, if, if somebody took it, it did not take me. I am the source of the iPad. Look at this. So, after a few days, after a few days, one of my daughter, I think it was on Thursday, she brought me, she bought me a new iPad. Look at this. She bought me a new iPad. She bought me a new iPad. And it was the husband. The husband who went to my daughter and asked my daughter, what must I get for your father? For the first time, the man has never. But he was just touched because the prophet lost the iPad. And this iPad was bought by a man who has never attended the church, but he loves my ministry. He loves my ministry. He says, I, I just want to buy something. That's how he bought me this iPad. Now listen to me. Listen to me. This wonderful iPad is a blessing. And I told God, I said, Lord, as I've touched this iPad from today, the one who bought it for me, he's going to appear right here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, it's just awesome to see how people, non-believers, and those that are far to believe in a prophet than those that are in the church. You know, it's so much astonishing to see people that are, not, that are in church to doubt a prophet. I repeat again, it's very astonishing and very surprising to see people that are in the church, yet they still doubt the prophet. Yet there's somebody else there who has never met the prophet, who has never talked with the prophet, he has never even sat with the prophet, but they believe in the God of the prophet more than you. That's the reason we are Gentiles. We did not have a relationship with Jesus Christ, but we believe much in the Lord Jesus than the Jews. Do you know that even the Jews, they don't believe in Jesus? Oh, you don't know. Because Jesus was born from that lineage. So for them, it's, it's common. They treat Jesus as their brother. Listen to me. You must be the first person to believe in this anointing. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Tell them, I believe in this anointing. Shake your neighbor. Tell them, believe in this anointing. Tell them, believe in this anointing. Shake your neighbor. Tell them, neighbor, believe in this anointing. That's the reason Jesus said, blessed are those who believe without sin. Blessed are those who believe without sin. God, in another way, he wants you to believe in something that you have never seen before. Have you ever seen me in your house? Never. But God wants you to believe in me. Oh, you don't know. No. Jesus said, believe in God and also believe in me. 
That's what Jesus said. It's not me. He said, believe in God and also believe in me. How can you come in this environment without believing in me? I'm asking you a question. How can you come in this environment without you believing in me? Jesus said, believe in me, believe in God, and also believe in me. For there is no man who can go to the Father unless through me. I am now the mediator of the new covenant. Jesus is simply saying that there is no man who can go to the Father without a fellow man. That's the reason for your miracle, you need a man. For your deliverance, you need a man. For your testimony, you need a man. For your church in life, you need a man. That's the reason God brought you to a man. So that that man can connect you to God. Lift your hand and say, I receive it. Are you listening? So I wonder how people say, no, me, I don't need any man. Me, I don't need any man. A woman saying, I don't need any man. Who is who is going to impregnate you? You impregnate yourself. <laughs> Hallelujah. It will be latest, eh? A woman on BBC, a woman impregnates herself. Latest. Are you listening? Hold this. Hold this. Hold this. God bless you. Now, are you ready now? Are you ready? Yes. Can I see your Bibles? Your Bibles. Your Bibles. Your Bibles. <laughs> if your friend has got no Bible, just look at them. Look at them like you are very annoyed at them. Frown your face at them. Look at them. <laughs> hey, if your friend has got no Bible, just look at them like you are frowning, like you are annoyed at them. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. You know, I want to teach you today. I, I feel like I feel like I've preached to you, but I want to teach you. I want this word to enter your spirit. Praise God. Can I see your Bibles? Lift your Bibles. 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 Say, this is my Bible. I believe it's the word of God. I am what the word says I am. Holy Spirit, teach me thy word. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Put our two hands for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, can you listen to me? Just look at me and write. There are two kinds of healing. There's a healing which is called look and be healed. Like Moses told the children of Israel. He said when you are, you are beaten by the serpent, you are going to look at the bronze serpent and you'll be healed. So as you are looking at me, you are not looking at me, you are looking at the crust in me. The hope of glory. Concentrate, be focused. Now, last of last week, I was I started a teaching, and I, I spoke about the three parts that are very important in the life of a believer. Number one, I talked about the herd. Number two, I talked about the hands. Number three, I talked about the feet. And uh, today, I want to continue teaching you the important places that you must protect 
and preserve. Once you expose those places, even that which God has bestowed on them, you will lose it. And today I'm talking about the power of the hands. The power of the hands. Let me first elaborate where I started from last of last week. The Bible says that he has exhort, he has exhorted my own. He has exhorted my own. He has exhorted my own. And I repeated again, I said the, the own represents the herd. The carrier of the what? The anointing. So the Bible says he has exhorted my own. Not just exhorting your own, but the Bible says he has anointed you with fresh oil. Lift your hand and say, I am anointed. Shout it like you are a believer. Say, I am anointed. Shout it like you are crazy. Come on. Shout it three times. So number one, he has exalted your herd. Number two, he has anointed your herd. He has anointed your herd with what? Fresh oil. Which means we have got two categories of people. We have those that are carrying dry head. It's either you are carrying a dry head. It's either you are carrying a dry head in ministry. It's either you are carrying a dry head in your finances. And everybody who carries a dry head does not go forward. That's the reason the Bible says, He anoints my head with fresh oil. With fresh oil. And my car runneth over. So the will of God is that He, might, he must anoint you in three parts. Or in three dimensions. Most of you, the reason why your head is not preserved is because you are just anointed on one part. Are you ready now? Are you ready? Are you ready? Mark chapter number six. Zubalahadivi. Verse 13. Read for me. We are going to read on top of our voices. Everyone here. As long as you have a mouth. You will read together with me. Mark. Are you there? Amen. Huh? Amen. Read for me. Let's read on top of our voices. One, two, three, go. And they cast out many devils. Shh, please, please, please. I want you to look at your Bible. Look at your Bible. Concentrate. I want you to read on top of your voice like a soldier. One, two, three, go. And they cast out many devils and anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them. Read again. And they cast out many devils and anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them. Read again. And they cast out many devils and anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them. What vision is that? NIV. Can you check for me NIV? Uh, uh, new standard. New standard vision. New standard vision. Can I see your vision? What does it say? Praise God. Okay, 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 okay. Mark chapter number 6 verse 13. We are going to do some crazy teachings here. Can I see people who love teachings? Amen. Can I see those who love teachings? Because some of you, it's like the devil close your ears. Even if a teaching can be very serious, you don't want to listen. Today you will listen by force. Amen. Say I receive. I receive. Mark chapter, chapter number 6 verse 13. The Bible says... And they casted out many devils. Paranosh kevehenibi. And they casted out many devils. And they anointed with oil many that were sick. And healed them. My God, my God, 
my God. I love a vision which, which talks about, and they anointed their herds. They anointed their herds with oil. Do you have a vision, that vision? Have you found it? Have you found it? Okay, listen. Verse number 13. Let's read it together. One, two, three, go. And they cast out many devils and anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them. And they casted out devils and anointed with oil. Lift your hand, say oil. Oil. Say oil. Oil. Lift your hand, say oil. Oil. Say oil. Oil. The Bible says they casted out what? Hey, come on. Say they casted out devils. Say they casted out devils. They casted out devils. The Bible says they casted out devils. And after casting out devils, the Bible says they anointed them. Do you know that your deliverance is not permanent without oil? That's the reason most of you, when we deliver you, demons enter you again. We cast out the devil of poverty and the following day you still have it. We cast out the demon of divorce. The following day your husband wants to chase you. We cast out the demon of instability. The following day you are unstable. It's because you have not yet understood how spiritual things operate. The Bible says after the apostles casted out devils out of those that were oppressed and possessed. The Bible says they went on calling them to anoint them. You need to understand the power of the anointing. The anointing that is being talked about, it is not the Holy Ghost. The anointing that is being talked about, it is not the Holy Ghost because the Holy Ghost, it is the executive manager of the divine program of God here on the earth. In another way, the Holy we don't call the Holy Spirit to come down again. The Holy Spirit came down already. I see people trying, they are in change. He said, Holy Spirit, we call you down. Where did he go? You don't call the Holy Spirit to come down because he already came down. You are not hearing this. The Holy Spirit already came down. He's available. All what you need to do it is to invite him. So what is being mentioned? The anointing. The anointing oil. Is different from the anointing. The anointing oil is different from the anointing. The anointing is a personality. The anointing, it is the Holy Spirit. The anointing is the executive manager of the program of God behind every kingdom increase, kingdom enlargement, miracles, signs and wonders, prophecy, different dimensions in the things of God. It is the Holy Spirit, it is the anointing that brings the things of God to reality. So hear me very well. There is a difference between anointing oil and anointing. The Bible says they casted out devils. And after casting out devils, the Bible says they anointed them with oil. They anointed them with oil. I hear a lot of preachers talking about uh, talking about talking about talking bad about the anointing oil. They are saying that anointing oil it is demonic. The Bible says after casting out devils the Bible says the apostles they went on taking anointing oil, anointing them. I hear a lot of men of God talking about talking ill, talking against anointing water, anointing oil dominion materials. It's because we have not yet understood scriptures. We have extreme in the kingdom of God and that's a look, 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 look there is nothing that is very dangerous than having a false teacher because look <laughs> look, there is nothing that 
is very dangerous in this generation like having a false teacher at least having a false prophet because a false prophet his duty it is to prophesy one by one but a false teacher he confuses many that's the reason whenever God sees a false teacher he takes them very fast People are talking against the anointing oil. They are talking against the anointing water. They are talking against dominion materials. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says God did greater miracles through the aprons and handkerchief of Paul. What is that? The Bible says after casting out devils, the Bible says the apostles, they went on taking anointing oil, anointing them. And after they were anointed by the anointing oil, which means the anointing oil, it is just mayor oil. Wait, I'll show you. The anointing oil is just mayor oil. What makes it to be different? What makes it to be extraordinary? It is the presence of the Holy Ghost inside the oil. So it is the why do we call it anointing oil? It's because the Holy Ghost is the greatest ingredient in the oil. After they casted out devils, the Bible says the disciples went on anointing them with the oil. Even the Bible says in the book of Timothy, it says, Is there anyone among you sick? If he is sick, let him go for the church elder and let them anoint him with the oil. And you are busy talking about anointing oil. You are talking against oil. You are talking against oil. <laughs> Lift your hands, say, prophet, talk, talk, talk. Say, major, major, talk, 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 talk. Who told you that anointing oil is demonic? Who told you that anointing oil takes people to hell? It is now believed that people when they use anointing oil, they enter hell. It is not oil that will make you enter hell. What will make you enter hell? It is your spirit. God is not interested with your body. In another way, when you die, your body will remain here on the earth. You are not going with it in heaven. When you die, your body is not going in heaven. When you die, your body is going back to the source, which is the dust. Your spirit is the one that will be judged. So, the battle, it is spiritual. Are you listening to me here? Say the battle is spiritual. Oh, let me stop. Me, I don't love when I'm talking. When I'm talking, people, they are looking so mumushas. Are you listening? After the disciples... Look, the disciples, they were anointed by God. Oh. They were very anointed. They had the unction of the Holy Spirit over their head. After chasing out devils, after driving out devils, the Bible says they did not leave those demon-possessed persons just like that. Because you must understand, the Bible says when the demon has been casted out of the house, the Bible says it goes to a dry place. And the Bible says it went to see if the doors have been closed. It is the anointing oil that closes up the doors of the devil. <laughs> it is the anointing oil that will paralyze the devil. It is the anointing oil that will make the devil to be scared of you. My sister, my daughter, you can have the Holy Spirit without the understanding of how the Holy Spirit operates. You will accuse and persecute anointing oil. I have heard people saying, 
now, this is a process of initiation. Anointing oil, we initiate people. Huh? It's a process of initiation. Lack of understanding. You will persecute what is meant to help you. The Bible says when the demon has been casted out, the Bible says it goes to a dry place. And the Bible says when it goes to a dry place, it begins to access where doors have been closed. Let me stop. I don't know why. It's like these people, they are listening to me. I can feel your spirit. I don't know today, not that side. Today is like the spirit. There we have got a lot of bishops. Sit down. been casted on my daughter it goes in a dry place it goes in a desert and what it does it begins to access it begins to check whether a person will be able to maintain the deliverance and if a person is not anointed is not sealed the bible says the demon that was casted out it will go and invite seven more wicked demons and it will enter you ladies and gentlemen when you are anointed with anointing oil we close the doors of the enemy can i prophesy i declare wherever the devil entered you from i come with the anointing oil to anoint your head lift your hands i receive sit down to cause the devil to run away from you, to run away from your ministry, is the amount of oil that you carry. Lift your hands and say, oil, 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 oil. My name is Major Prophet D.B. Isaac. I don't carry mosquito oil. Oh, yes. I don't carry kerosene. Oh, yes. I carry fresh oil. Oh, yes. I prophesy. I receive it. Your hands are anointed. I receive it. Your head is anointed. I receive your it. Your business is anointed. I receive Say, it. I receive it. I receive it. Sit down. If you want the devil to be afraid of you, it is not the amount of scripture. It is not the amount of theology that you have started. It is about how much oil you carry. Amen. The ten virgins, the story of the ten virgins, the Bible says the five, they were wise, and the five were foolish. Two categories of people that we have in the church. Foolish ones and wise ones. Those who carry Bibles. How? Are you listening? Eh? Are you listening? Oh, yes. If you want the devil to run away from your company, you need to understand the process, the principle of anointment. Before, look, 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 look. In the book of First, uh, first, uh, first Samuel, chapter number 16, we hear a man called the Samuel, the prophet, and the Bible says he was sent by the Lord to go and anoint David after God had rejected Saul, which means there are people that are rejected, not refused, rejected. God has got nothing to do with them. Oh, you are not hearing me here. Amen. Are you listening to me here? Amen. At least God must refuse you, not reject you. Ah. When you are rejected, it's over with you. Ah. Oh, can I continue? Oh, yes. These people, they are not listening to me. Right on, right on Papa. I can see you. Ah. You are not listening. You are listening.